Yeah, yeah let's, let's look. I want to I introduce our young man from fucking Italy here. Yeah. Now, get on, just get closer to the mic. Get, now you, you're going to be a bit shy for a second, but just relax, young man. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. He's Did a chest monster. That? Did you hear that? Yeah. That's smooth fucking. You can't hear anything, can you? I can. I can hear myself in a very weird way. <laughs> <laughs> now, you play guitar, right? Yes. And you and I had this connection with uh, Explosions in the Sky oh, when yeah. we were playing in your hand in mine Which the other fantastic. day. And I was like, fuck, you know, you know Explosions in the Sky. So, yeah. And you were showing me. Now, who is the artist, the, the, the guitarist, that we were looking at in Athens when we went up into the rocks? You know, when, when the mm-hmm. guitarist got out and he was playing his music for us? Mm-hmm. Who was the dude on the, on the YouTube video that we were looking at? And he, he was, he dressed, he looked like Carl Drogo and he was playing a fucking guitar on the street and we were watching the YouTube video in front of this guitarist. Do you remember that guy? The one who was playing YouTube? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember? I don't know who he is here, but, but he was a very good street artist. Oh, I thought you knew who he was. I was trying to no. work out the name for, for... Now, what's your name? My name is Vincenzo. Vincenzo. From Italy? Yes, very Where common name. Where I hate that? it. Where, you hate? Yeah, it's too common. What would you call yourself? <laughs> Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> if question. you could rename yourself, what would you call yourself? No, no. I accept it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, well, I would think, I'd accept my name and then I'd change it. Um, what was your, where's your back, like, where's your, your hometown? My hometown is Naples. Oh, Napoli. God. Jesus, that place is Like, dangerous. not Naples, but Salerno. I love you know? Naples. Nobody knows. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Uh, your drawing is just fantastic, man. Oh, yeah, because I was talking about Naples, not my drawings. I well, fucking love Naples. Well, you can wank on about Naples, yeah. and you can wank <laughs> on about his drawings. How about that? Now, he was sitting behind the desk just before yeah. looking at your drawings, yeah, and, and he was fascinated about how detailed we were. And, and this is a nice segue into talking oh, right. a little bit about your art. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to fucking go on too much about it because, you know, it, 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 spe- hell, it speaks for itself, to be honest. But can you just quickly explain, how the fuck do you approach this, the, the art that you do? Because from what I know, you yeah. walk around a city. That's right, yeah. You, you can see it somehow. Yeah. From a bird's eye perspective. Wow. I kind of translate what I've seen into a bird's eye perspective so it can show more than just a single street or a few buildings. But how do you project your mind, your, your point of view up into that? Sc- how does... Like, can you even explain it? No, I, I can't. Can. Um, well, I might be able to, but I just like to keep it to myself. I don't think everything should be explained. Ah, yeah. Okay. Nice. But um, what was the f- like? What was the first thing you remember drawing and thinking? Oh, okay, this is something that I could actually do. Uh, for I went a to Paris in '96. My father took me on a one-day trip to Paris, and I was so fascinated by Paris, I decided to do a drawing of it. So well, it was Paris that got you started. Yeah. 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 That got me started, and um, well, the only way to show all those famous monuments in one drawing was through uh, a bird's eye perspective. So that's why I decided to do that. It was just a practical solution, really. How did you teach yourself perspective drawing? Well, it's really. Did you teach yourself, or did you actually learn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I taught myself. Basically, when you've got a horizon, you've got vanishing points, you can set up any perspective you like. Yeah, yeah. that's how it works, really. So you do your line, you could work yeah. first. And I don't yeah. want to go through all like, how, you, how you do it. Cause, I mean, it's just fascinating how you get to that little details. And the well, fact it's that you just practice, really, a lot of practice but do and you, good eyes. Do you do something like creative as well or just, you know, reality? No, no. no he, he, these, most of the cities he does are not real cities. Oh. Or oh, they're just based on, on actual places or they're just uh, composition amalgamation of uh, various impressions. Well, sometimes I like to draw actual cities like, um, like Venice, for instance, or Budapest, um, Paris, obviously, New York. I've done loads of drawings of New York. Have you been there? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm obsessed with New York, so... Ah, tell us why. Well, it's nothing quite like it. It's the energy. It, it, it's electrifying. Mm. It, it's really... Um, Is that people-driven? Yeah, totally as well. And also the architecture, you know, this um, the contrast between old and new and the bridges mm-hmm. and everything, mm-hmm. you know, the brilliant blue skies you often get in New York. It's just, I find it mesmerizing. Really, it is the sum of all human experiences over the last four centuries, basically. What do you find, how would you describe people from New York then? Um, I don't know, I think that they're all actors, you know, because you're part of your own film when you're there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you think about how many times New York's been worked over in movies? Yeah. Fucking Independence Day, fucking King Kong, fucking... It doesn't matter. It, it, the experience of being there is so totally different from what you see in the films. So basically, you become part of your own film for the time you're there. I had a very similar experience. When yeah. I went to New York, I sat down in a pizza shop. I was dead fucking broke when I got there. It was at the tail end of a year-long trip, yeah. and I had $200 to my name. I couldn't even afford a backpackers. I could afford the locker. So I put my bag in the locker, and I wandered the streets for the night. This was Christmas Eve in right. 2005. I had mm-hmm. no money. And I literally walked the streets for the entire night thinking, fuck, I've never been in New York. I'm going to be out on the street for the entire night. I've seen Home Alone. I've seen (laughs) Home Alone 2. All these movies I've seen, and here I'm walking around. And I remember thinking, okay, I'm just going to park myself. I've got enough money for a pizza slice. So I parked myself in 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 a pizza shop and just sat there and just watched the characters that walked in the door. Here's who walked in. Two massive black guys came in. And they were from the south, so they were all kind of like, you know, a bit hickish as well. And they just, like, piled into the booth where I was sitting in. So I was kind of huddled in the corner. And these two black guys had their pizzas in and they were, like, talking. And then this fucking Italian guy walks in. And he's wearing high-vis, you know. So yeah, he's yeah. got the, the high-vis gear on. So he's obviously wandered in from some work site on the street. <coughs> and typical fucking... This is what is typical to New York, New York to me. He walks in announcing himself like he's walking onto a set of a movie. Hey, what the fuck is going on? You know, like, like this guy with his mustache, long black hair, little Italian guy. It just seemed like everything around me was scripted. <laughs> There's a camera somewhere. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> I, I was like, maybe I was sitting accidentally in a, in a, on the set of fucking Seinfeld or something. But they are actors, the way they behave, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do they have to out-act each other? Because they're such big personalities. Does it seem like it's well, the it big fish eat the little like, fish like type thing? No, basically, it is a city that, that, that breeds a particular kind of character. Mm. So I can imagine you have to be kind of... Uh, what Bombastic? Bombastic, yeah. Like an enhanced version of yourself, maybe even. Uh, Being yeah. modest and uh, kind of friendly isn't going to work in New York. Is it not like a sense of like, grandiosity or... Seems like yeah. it. I mean, every other place after New York seems incredibly sedate and boring and um, <laughs> just mundane, really. I don't know. I, I, in terms of that, I think Berlin definitely has some character. And even Budapest, in a sense, gets that, gets that sense. Like, even when we walked down the street last night, remember that? We were just kind of like hanging out with Ben. Remember Ben? Yeah. He's fucking... He's, <laughs> he had a bit of a weird night. Um... <laughs> And we just bump into people and just ask them for directions and stuff. And, like, um, you get these characters, like this... What was that guy? Bruno, last night. Remember yeah. him? Bruno. Yeah, a guy called Bruno. And for some reason, I thought he was Canadian, but he was a local. And, uh, you know, he's like, oh, where are you going? And I, but um, there's, there's characters are plenty in these big cities. But I guess in New York, yeah, you, they got to kind of rise above because it's such, it's such a... It's the biggest... It's the city in the planet, isn't it? It is, it's actually. It's the capital it of cap- planet Earth. It is, actually. Yeah, in a sense, it is. I could say London too. You yeah. need to be a big personality in London. Oh, yeah. you, uh, you don't really have to be. London is actually a very everyday place. Mm, I don't know about. I think that. it depends where you, depends where you are. In well, uh, say for West End and the city, but yeah. the rest is just it's one big council terrace. Let's face it; it's just that most of the buildings look a bit nicer than in Northampton. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But it, 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 no, it's, just, <laughs> it's just it's just it's um, just row of terraces after row of terraces, mm-hmm. a council estate, and then you got a, a, like a high street, and then it's the same again and again, and that's for like thirty miles in each direction, basically. And what about Rome? Obviously, have you been like yeah, being from Naples been, yeah. to Rome? Do you do you roam in Rome? Pardon the pun. No, I've just been there. You know, like. Holidays. Yeah. For me, it's three hours driving away. Yeah. And what's your impression of Rome as as an Italian living in, in Naples? Yeah, it's say again. As an Italian living in Naples, what what is your impression of Rome? Um, of course, you know Colosseum and all the you know architecture. Do you find it like walking into a mu- like an outdoor museum? Um, no, not really, not in Rome. Because that's what my impression was. Walking around there, 
I'd walk around a corner and there was a fucking like outdoor museum right there because you've got these ruins just popping up out of the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you walk around another corner and there's another thing that's been there for longer than fucking my ancestors and stuff. I found that. And I found that with Athens as well. Sadly actually. enough, Rome has become... I mean, uh, this is really a sad thing. It's not really a city anymore. It's just Disneyland for culturally interested tourists. Yeah, I reckon. That's yeah. really... What a shame. It's sad. I mean, you've got one of the most beautiful, most yeah. unique places in the world, and they just allowed it to become yeah, one big tourist trap. Italy is fucked up place now, you know? Like. Yeah? Why? Yeah, man, like... You in my place. About Italy two ago. <laughs> <laughs> like no, seriously, like politics is shit. Um, oh, so. Like I, like I'm not able else. to. Yeah, everywhere else. Is yeah, there. but especially you know in the like there is a big difference between north and south of yes. Italy, and like in my place I was I wasn't I'm not able to live there you know like you don't hear n- enough. You know, and you work a lot. And yeah, shit, someone man. someone told me actually that the minimum wage in Italy is around seven hundred euro a month. Uh, no, actually, the minimum wage should be uh, eight euro an hour or something. But yeah. they do like, you know, fucked up stories. Like they put you on a part time contract, oh, but you right. work like oh, full time. Uh, yeah. Oh, they make you work full time. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't get like a contract at all. Like you work twelve yeah, hours, but, but you get paid but for you work full time hours. Yeah. And you get paid part time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Out. Man, I was working like six days a week, ten hours a day, basically. What were 16. you doing? Uh, pizza chef. Oh right. <gasps> yeah. Really, I used to work at a pizza shop too. Really? Yeah, I used, to, I used to do the pizzas. You can make pizzas? Yeah, man. But they nice. work. Ah, yeah, fuck the Spanish. The Spanish yeah. shit's all just fucking, you know, this probably came from you, where you're from, you know. Like, let's show off. But then you work but 10 hours a day for yeah, six days a week. To get 600 a month. 600 oh. only. Fucking Nazis. That's, 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 man, that's comparable disgusting. to over here, yeah. actually. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. But here, I don't know. Like, are they okay or. They For don't me work over shit, here. No? I know many people in Italy have to work, but over here they don't really. <laughs> this is more like Spain. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have one day holiday. <laughs> There's no siestas over here. Oh, but that's right, actually. They don't do siestas here in uh, Hungary. I love the siesta factor. Si- uh, they should, that, should, they should, that should be applied to everyone.